seriously. Don't be so rude and grouchy in the morning. I love to be rude and grouchy in the morning. Coca-Cola. Size for Ninos. Are you out of beer? No, I'm not out of beer, but what? You get mad at me if I start drinking before nine, so I figured I'd wait an hour. Here in Santa Teresa. It's a maze of all sides. Awesome. It is bumpy. Waves are big and scary looking. We got howler monkeys hanging out on top of the house, knocking branches on the roof. We got rain. We got oh, cool, rain. cool it French was, neighbors. A lot and, of rain. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, your basic Costa Rica. about two weeks now and uh, we're in Santa Teresa just waking up this morning a um, little bit of a crazy night just with the rain and trees falling and crazy sounds howler monkeys all that kind of jazz um, the waves are looking nice today I missed sunset by about I don't know 30 minutes or so which or sunrise by about 30 minutes and um, so yeah just came out to do a drone flight and uh, get some beach before there are lots of people on it. And um, yeah, just heading back. Sand fleas are crazy this morning. So um, yeah, I'm not sure if that's a common occurrence, but they were eating me alive as we were, as I was doing the drone, so.
that we have a string. Oh my gosh, six years ago. Like Costa Rica so far? It's a hundred thumbs up. Yeah, what do you like about it? I like the rainforest and seeing the animals. My favorite part was the zip line. Oh, really? Yeah. How about you? Um, 2,300 thumbs up, and um, my favorite part was exploring the jungle and exploring like the new types of culture. There you go. Alright, July 31st, 2017. The last day of the month of July. It's been a great month for these kids and uh, for Green and I as well. Um, we're in Santa Teresa, which is um, on the west coast of Costa Rica, and we're staying at a place called Macanas, and uh, we're having our first breakfast. It's really inexpensive, it's only $50 a night. Um, and uh, we got some beautiful fruit to start, some coffee, and uh, fresh pressed, like fresh squeezed juice. I'm not even sure what's in it. There's like, I don't know, probably like five or six fruits in there. Um, it's just an amazing way to uh, start the day. I think some eggs are coming out here in just a second. I uh, just thought I'd tell you guys, that, you know, if you're looking for a place to stay that's kind of inexpensive, it's a little bit on the north side of town. The beach off of the back here is a little bit rocky, so that's the only uh, downfall I would say about the location. But uh, when you wake up with howler monkeys in your trees right above your uh, your uh, unit in your cabin, um, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we've been filming and, and having a great morning, and uh, hopefully we'll get to enjoy the beach later.
surf a little bit. Kids are out in the ocean playing and uh, just a great option if you're coming to this area and you're not like a professional surfer and you're not really comfortable with like rocks all around and you know that kind of a break. Um, this is actually a great beach. It's got uh, sand and uh, you can walk out probably 150 yards into the surf uh, before it gets too deep. Um, so that makes it easy to kind of take off and kind of get where you need to be without having to paddle out and, and beat yourself up and, and overdo your shoulders and arms and stuff. And uh, so yeah, it's a great one to, uh, to, to learn on. So hanging out today, great day, beach day. Probably come back in the morning and try to surf again. So. Join us next time when we leave the beachy Punta Arenas Peninsula and make our way south along the more touristy and accessible mainland coast of Costa Rica. But before we leave, we take another four-wheel drive adventure road to Montezuma. Then make our way to the ferry that crosses the Gulf of Nicoya to Punta Arenas and end up getting a great deal at the Ritz-Carlton Herradura for one night on our way to Manuel Antonio. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.